going on boys and girls of youtube we are back on our absolute content grind i know you guys like the recorded content way more than the bots we're back on it full-time recorded content coming your way yes, sir. video upload schedule i'm gonna upload videos at 11 a.m eastern and then shorts will go up later in the afternoon or in the evening so we'll be looking out for that as well just the earlier videos so we're going right into it we're also starting a bronze to master series this account is bronze 4 1500 mmr so it is a higher MMR than bronze, but it is truly bronze. It, is, it actually has a bronze rank. So is it not starting at a gold rank? And we'll see how this goes. I'm got ADC today. I'm really interested in deep diving in jungle and ADC right now because there's so many build options. I was on vacation for the last week, so I've seen some some wild ADC builds. So one of the builds right now is Axe of Animosity into Aussie into shifter shield which is wild and you might say well why would you build shifter shield it's a cheap item with very high prots health hp5 and power when you're over 75 percent hp and with the aussie you're able to stay at high health so i wanted to try this build and i specifically wanted to try it on cern cern struggles in smite because of his kit let's let's just be real about it here his kit is rough he doesn't have super hard cc He's got his alt where you turn into a sheep. He's got his like mini cripple root on his two. He's got his one, which a lot of people don't min max where you're swapping in and out of the different stances. But at his core, his two, three auto combos with a auto attack canceling is really, really good. Like, like it's a really high amount of damage. I'm maybe not really good, but the combo has potential, right? So I saw this build. I was like, you know what? We got to try it. Like, no doubt about it we got to try it i have run this build on on her and if everyone said it just doesn't feel good it felt pretty decent to me so i'm extra interested in this where are you going buddy i do have to remember that these are like we're doing a bronze master series while also testing out builds so i don't know what to expect from my teammates <laughs> at all i don't know if i can be hyper aggro you never know when you don't know the actual players okay like that's the, okay we're good come on faf attack faf just just go jump on him and disarm him okay faf you, got, you can't just let me solo clear oh he doesn't have leap he has his two all right he might die here because he's chasing this guy unfortunate unfortunate <laughs> like i said i don't know what to expect in the lower brackets man i i you can just bait yourself so easily like realistically he baited me but i baited myself by thinking he would play the game correctly so ideally right there the Fafnir just stays in the medusa and body blocks all the damage also ideally you never take your two on fafnir that early you get your one and your three and then your two because your one disarms so you're able to jump on them and stop them they're clear right like it's very 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 straightforward we'll be all right though this is probably a better thing make sure the game doesn't instant insta end especially if my other lanes win like it looks like they might do wait is that wukong jungle Ooh, spicy Ooh, but no 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 uh bumbas no boomba I, yes, there you go. There you hit. Go. Stun him. Stun him. He's rooted. You, you can't. Okay. But I say you can't mess it up, but apparently you can. I'm for it. We're good, though. We're back. Looking for a gank, maybe? Oh, he's looking for it. I, I'm not going to bait myself. Nah, I, there might be a ward there. I don't really think that's the issue. I mean, a lot of poke from this Medusa. Server kill is kind of bad. and we're good all right we're back i would love to be aggro here i'm gonna try to tell him to attack and see if he will as i still have beads you could also just just go on athena like he could do so all right it's okay dude you're trying let's go do our buffs i thought i was about to eat that poke so building the aussie first not really that wild all right 
that's that it makes sense you want sustain the warrior's axe is gonna make you super tanky earlier your overall damage is essentially lower until you get to the late game but as long as you're playing a brawl god like a, a god that you want to duel and fight over and over with i think it's okay the warrior's axe ends up getting value um your trading is in your favor because you're tanky so i'm thinking on a god like cern once i can kind of walk at them once i have the Aussie online i'm gonna cook i'm also still somehow up on xp oh he ulted so late medusa might hit five here so i'm just gonna back there's the five no <laughs> he could have just <laughs> the cream he gets a double he gets a double no 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 i don't know what that wukong is doing right now i want the lane to slow push that way they all miss some creeps my fafnir it's crazy too because shifters is being built right now so even for supports this item is op which is kind of the the telltale like i'm testing it on an adc and then you also see the support building it you know that it's a strong item like there's something there's something going on if it's that good and it's he's his build is in troll it's very very strong come on buddy fight me i don't even have Aussie yet so when you're playing cern you're stand swapping you want to make sure you get orange up because orange is going to put pen on them i think it lasts for four or five seconds what does it say uh i don't know if it's four or five seconds so any with orange is ideal and then you're either going to yellow for extra damage or you're going into green for sustain that's fine you want to poke and throw abilities at this guy as much as possible Ooh, that was weird looking He's gonna be one health. Then I hit a tower shot, take no damage. So he has to back now. If he stays, I'll dive him. I don't think he stays. Yeah, he doesn't stay. So we're just gonna commit to this. Remember, on CERN, you can right click to cancel your dash. Make sure you're not doing it on accident because you can get yourself killed if you short dash when you don't want to. But when you're fighting, canceling it and just being in melee range, like dashing through melee range and just kind of pumping is very, very, very strong. Also, when you do play CERN, if I get into these fights like I'm expecting, with an Aussie, an Aussie prox, and I swap to green stance, I should be able to full heal. I should kind of just go crazy with sustain. Like, I'm even going to go into green right now. Let's see, I just cancel it instantly. I want to solo these for the farm. Get the swap over to yellow. I'm going to miss a few creeps here, and he's going to get meteor, but we have Aussie, so I think that's okay. Loop in the lane. Leveling up the three before the two, because I, like I said, I want to brawl. I want to fight. I want max damage possible. I don't want to stay for the next wave since they're all here. They're looking for me too. Yeah, they're looking for me, so I'm gonna back. We're gonna go this. We're gonna fizz. We're gonna go into that shifters. So now we have a little bit of defense. It's uh, or sorry, not defense. A little bit of HP and HP five by getting the item, which is good. I really wish we hadn't fought right now. It'll be all right though. Live, live, live! I'm coming. Oh, this could be big. Nice. He blinked out. He's huge. He's actually cracked. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we're in. I'm gonna slow here. Swap over to Pen. Block his dash. Oh, the crew's body blocked me. I might die. Kill him. Faf, help. Get him. Nice. That's worth. It sucks Fab got the kill, but that's worth. Goodness gracious. The bro the boys are just brawling over here. <laughs> if Aaron doesn't know what a rotation is. These lower games are so funny. I'm top damage right now. Don't have a kill. The ADC life. I really wish I could get this fortress shield. That'd be big. I'm gonna grab. 
I want a ward. I don't think it would have changed much, obviously, because I went to that fight late. I really want to get a ward off. I'm two levels up, too. I have two deaths, and I'm two levels up on this guy. Controlling buffs, especially like he's doing it right now, that purple buff, the little purple dude, non-buff, purple camp. Big value. Big, 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 big value. E e Trying to fix something real quick. There we go. One of those to remove. Get some poke out. That damage is actually sick. Obviously, he can do counter poke with his uh his two. But that is ridiculous damage. Alright, we're just gonna go aggro here. Got his dash. Dodge that. We just kill him. Easiest 1v1 of our lives. I'm at half health. I don't even have shifters in this yet. What's he building? Oh, that's unfort. And Athena all two? That's criminal. He missed taunt. The oh, he's going crazy. Come on, Baron. All right, we're good. We're actually cooking. Oh, he's back up. Oh, he's back up. Wait, he's just dead. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious kiting out the Athena ult. The fact that he couldn't get Athena ult to land on me is a little surprising. Aussie plus lifesteal just went nuts there, boys. Absolutely crazy. We are now four levels up once we clear this. This dude is in he's down bad right now. He lost purple too. We have shifters finished after buffs, so I'll probably do buffs into wave back at item. Once we had a really good clear there. Yeah, I'm going to be three levels up on Medusa. Three, oh, their mid is huge, though. Their Janus is two and one. He's gigantic. Oh, someone did our green. No, I didn't see who it was. People got to stop doing that to dual lanes. Green buff is a dual lane buff. If the other team's getting it and then you're taking it from yours, they're going to be screwed. Good dash. Oh, you're just dead. Season shift. I don't even know what that is. Did they rage quit? No way we make our Thor rage quit our first game in the series. No way. I guess after you see a fight like that, you can't handle it in this bracket. I don't know, man. That Thor, he played it really bad. I have 46 MMR. I'm now silver one. So I went from bronze four to silver one in one game. So when you guys are like, you'll never make it out of lower games, like this is what happens. You just jump games when I play on these accounts. I did, not, I did 10K damage. Almost out damage my whole team put together. Medusa did 7K. He, he did decent. There's the one did 1800. Did I say anything? Like we said, originally, I'm excited to get back into this and go through and test a bunch of potential builds. And with the change to fail not being allowed on assassins now, there's a few gods that come to mind, especially cooldown crit gods like Sir Ket. So today's video is us testing whether Sir Ket is back because of this change. And I'm gonna be honest, I think Sir Ket still needs a lot of tweaks to be a better assassin and less of the, you know, the base true damage just needs to be gone. But with this change, there's a lot of potential for Herbie to be cracked. Her early game should be even better. And we're going to do a weird start to the build. So fail not to what we want to build first, right? It's power, cooldown, crit, all the good stuff. If you did not know, Sir Ket's ult also gives you a uh, crit, right? Then, yeah, yeah, I couldn't see it, <laughs> right? Sure it does. It gives you crit. So at max rank, you get 20% more crit. We're going to go fail not, which is going to give us 15% chance to crit. So that'd be 35. And then we're going to go into Deathbringer, which is going to give us another 30. So we'll be at 65. And then we're going to upgrade that Deathbringer into Devoted, which is going to put us at like 73% chance to crit or something like that. I think we're close to 75, right? But the weird thing with this build is fail not tier one is only cooldown. It is a 10% cooldown item. We don't want that first. We want power. So we're going to go Deathbringer tier one first. Then we're going to build into fail not. And then we're going to jump back and finish the Deathbringer. I love me some circuit. Not having to go rage makes things extra spicy and just interesting in general. Jungle has been pretty fun with this patch so far. The one thing overall in Smite is the fact that Shifter Shield is OP. Uh, I hope they pause. Shifter Shield being OP makes a lot of gods 
power spike weird and a lot of builds not feel as good oh he's back he's back he's back i was about to say yeah this isn't another surrender it's so hard to get full games in i don't know what's up with that lately i feel like i talk about this once every couple months but just go through these weird phases where people are disconnecting or baby raging or whatever it is or don't you know they aren't happy about something off the rip so we're good start like you said we're gonna go into the fail not first then jump back finish this deathbringer when you do play circuit you want to max your one your alt your two your three and then leveling that ult whenever possible is huge because of the extra crit chance it's also a lot of damage rank one circuit ult sucks rank two is okay but then it starts to actually scale up and become relevant big thing about circuit is the passive if you don't understand the passive i talk about it in most videos your one puts on a poison your two puts on a poison your all puts on a poison when you auto attack with poisons up it does damage based on the amount of poisons that are up okay i see you yo okay that was a late beads from the artemis effect the jungler's gotta be over there i should have done right mids whenever you know the jungler's ganking the duo lane you always do the mids that are on the duo lane side i just started running this way so i committed to it it's not the end of the world if you don't but if you're mid maxing and trying to control the map and and do everything correctly that's what you want to do we're gonna wait for our one to come back up i think this guy's just is he just dead he's just dead i'm just gonna farm this i don't want to take his wave we're gonna clear this hopefully he lets me solo it and he can do his buffs because he's got the side camp he's got the, the totem yep we're gonna solo this that's a lot of gold off of those a ton of do i die for this oh if he's right here oh uh, i want to die for this i'm gonna wait yeah oh, i'm not gonna retreat oh he backed unfortunate we're gonna wait for this now that one diving is so bad in spite i'm gonna be honest it's the most tempting thing in the game i swear but it's so bad does i don't might come to these i want to go for this though i just heard the wukong where wait where is this did someone not do this did did suzano come over here Ah, <laughs> all right that's weird so i'm guessing the wukong didn't clear the whole camp and left a small and then somebody came over and cleared it at some point i, I don't really know what else could be the explanation here we're gonna play around as blue there's the purple buff so yeah that's definitely what happened it was not cleared like it should have been and you see it just changed colors which means suzano's here so we're gonna do this Double the cooldowns we're a double pot we're fine with this there's no way he takes this back in he wants this oh he took it oh he still got it yo, 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 yo. mid here un that just sucks that really sucks because if my server comes in that's a free invade he suzano got it at one health which is crazy i did go for the double hit i wanted to kill them both which is greedy don't get me wrong I definitely was greeting that but then the mid rotates over who's already behind that's unreal she had to have missed creeps there too there's no way she rotated over and didn't miss creeps all right so we can back and get deathbringer two or sorry fail not to not deathbringer deathbringer will be soon purple start sucks purple shaman totem if you guys still don't know what the shaman totem does you're trolling <laughs> you're trolling it's a secondary buff so i picked those speed i get speed buff you also get the secondary totem buff which is attack speed which does nothing for me nice job Good job gamers we're kind of in there whoa the circuit leap change weird to get used to the fact that they made it longer again a while ago is just great i hope when circuit gets moved over to smite 2 she's an assassin like a true very good very clean assassin i don't want to see any support circuit gameplay you know unless it's just standard for smite i don't want like i don't want circuit to be just a good support and a bad assassin I feel like they haven't had her in assassin role in a long time all right we're gonna keep clearing might be able to kill mid i don't know why there's supports here already oh, there's three people here oh gank mid double taunt a lot of damage double kill but 
Okay, that was clean. <laughs> that was that was a good that was a good play for my raw. Uh, dude, I love. I, I'm sure it's gonna be said in the comments. Oh, double Tony on gets easy. I did all the time. No, you don't. No, you don't. And most pro players that are assassins, you know, assassin mains, they're junglers. They don't hit double taunts consistently. It's something you need to play a lot of circuit and get very comfortable with it to do it. And you need to recognize how good of an ability it actually is when you're hitting double taunts. I'm gigantic now. This is about to be a rough game for these boys. So I need 50 gold. Blue's coming up soon. What's the timer? Oh, found him. Oh, I suck. What about the cooldown? He's going to play for this again. He, he got lucky last time. He's definitely going to play for this. All right, I'm gonna auto this down and then go for the kill. Easiest kill of my life. Greeting against the circuit is unreal. Absolutely unreal. Is he gonna go for the other camp? Yes, dude, I love when solos do this. I absolutely adore, adore solo laners that play like this. I don't wanna see his wave. I'm already ahead, I don't need his wave. This Susano's cooked, he's 0-2. Susano players getting punished, that's what you love to see. Back to base. We have yellow totems. We get some extra pen. We now have fail not online. We're gonna get more crit. We actually don't have any crit until we get that because rank one alt gives you zero percent chance to crit. Rank two gives you five. Rank three gives you ten. Four, fifteen, five, five. There are five. I always forget there's five levels on your abilities. But anyway, back to our circuit gameplay. We can kind of kill anybody right now. The big thing is we need to snowball really hard with the lead like we need to keep just punishing them and invading the biggest thing you can do on sir cat is invade because if you go for invades and they're there you get a free kill in the 1v1 you just insta kill them if they're not there you get free camps and you maintain your lead while also shutting them down nothing's gonna be up here as expected i'm gonna go for a mid kill here he just uses invis oh uh, okay guess there's a ward we don't want to do anything too much. Slow down for a second. Wait for our abilities to come back up. Uh, is it beads? He kills them. I don't even need to help them. <laughs> Yo, this nuance criminal. He's dead. This is crazy. We're going to level up the ult here instead of the one. We want more crit. We want that crit chance uh, right away. So a lot of times you might be tempted to level up your ability to get a max, especially if you're too used for clear. Most of the time it's not worth it. The little bit of extra damage is obviously valuable, but it's not valuable enough that you should drop out leveling up your alts or getting the extra stats from an alt like I just did. I That new awarding, the way she's playing is bad, but warding like that is good. Oh, he rolled the wrong way. He just inted so hard. We don't even care. He can hit us all day. Wait, why did he ult so early? I might. No, 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 no. There's no way it does 200 damage, right? They killed him. His ult didn't even go off. <laughs> this is going to be another 10 minute surrender. Oh, my goodness. The Bronze the Master Series is going well, I guess. We're going to see how many games it takes to get to Masters. I might go GM for the content. More than likely, I will go GM for the content getting the masters if it's a quick one we don't want to we don't want to waste our time and just end it at masters probably kill this is 12 to 0 it's 12 to 0 i honestly feel kind of bad but not bad enough that i'm not gonna go kill this rama again especially since this is up oh no he's coming to this yep Oh, he crippled me out of the air. That's insane. He's got so, dude, I'm, oh my gosh. That's, that's criminal. That's criminal, bro. We're going to back. We have death here. He's dead. I shouldn't have just ulted him. I shouldn't even have leaped. I shouldn't have let him play that out. I thought maybe there was a chance he rolled into the green camp. So I figured, oh, wait, we'll see if he rolls out. He hits a cripple. I despise Rama for cripple because of that when you're an assassin running out of rama that happens all the time i guarantee you if you're a jungle player or you play any assassins in any roles you've had that happen against rama more than once oh my god we're cooking six and oh deathbringer finish we want the upgraded deathbringer as well and then we want to go right into pen 
Since I'm snowballing, I can go Hydras and look for the bigger crits. If I am not snowballing, we can go Serrated. He's going to play for this. Mm, wait, he's not playing for this. Oh, I am. Questionable. Oh, we got Sozano going mid. There's the double pool. He's honestly not... Like, he's overcommitting sometimes, but he's not playing terrible. Oh! Oh! My ult didn't go off. Why? I'm just going to alter. I just want to get this over with. Did she Aegis? She didn't Aegis. It felt like she Aegis. We're doing go. Oh, baby. Eh. I don't. Oh, yeah, we're in. That was a good kill. That gold fury. I like the call, but. Her, he, she pulled it way too early to commit to it. Yeah, I'll help on gold. I want to get these first. Free farm. Got to always get them after. If it's a close game, you don't want to do that. You want to go straight to the gold. Don't do not do what I just did if it's a close game. Since we're snowballing so hard and it's getting a little out of hand, I figured I'll just keep farming and see if they play this out. Upgrade that. I am going to go Hydras. Going to get our beads. I'm going to go Hydras first with this lead. Hydras serrated maybe 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 bloodforge you get double life steal out of it we're gonna do so much damage and you remember you do get pen you get percent pen out of fail not the one thing this build lacks is flat pen since you're not going Jotuns, you aren't getting any flat pen in the build which i don't think is the end of the world it's definitely not a good thing the tower is still alive this is a weird this is a throwing dive kind of yo can we taunt the susana wait double taunt we taunted it in oh Baby. It obviously kills his illusion, but hitting the double taunt on his illusion is hilarious. Oh my gosh, 18 to 1. I feel bad. I feel so bad. I feel so bad that I'm just gonna kill Susana right here. <laughs> Yo, this is mean. This is Oh, we went to him. No, he secured it. Wait, we kill him. Oh no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're okay. Oh. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. He warded me. Nice. That sucks, dude. It taunted him towards the new wall because the new wall was in range. So it ruined my whole combo. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's hunting. Oh, he's pissed. He's not happy. I'm looking for this. I'm looking for this. Minions down. Keep them away from me. Keep the minions away from me. No, they're going to spot me now, dude. Okay, he's going for this. I think Susano's here. Oh no, Serb is here. Ew. All right, we're wasting too much time. Oh, 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 he dashed. What is he doing? What was that? He just panicked, eskied. All right. Bronze behavior, silver. We're silver. We went from bronze four to silver one in one game. That's a good. Oh, I thought he's rotation, rotating. I was about to say that's actually a good rotation for him since they've got to be playing up on that side of the map. But Susano's three levels down. New has four levels down. <laughs> the Rama's actually level thirteen. The Rama's not out yet. They need one fight to have a chance in this match. I should have gotten cooldown right there. We're gonna go get this speed. I want the cooldown. Get this speed, get our four level lead back on the Susano. Wait, we didn't get blue. Are we behind on totem camp? We must be. These guys on my team are wild. They're doing objectives and everything. This isn't me calling anything out. I'm not telling them to do anything at all. No comms. I love it. If you play like this at this MMR or in these brackets, you'll start winning. Like just naturally you'll start winning so many more games because you'll be objective based Susano going in Susano going in with the f he's down four levels five levels he's down five levels oh yeah you're dead yeah we're we're gonna kill you here buddy i didn't want to have the alt his speed's coming up we're playing for that if they're not gonna surrender let's wait for the wave so waves crossing in three seconds it should time out where I can wait. Wait, there it goes. I don't want Susano to see me. That's the big thing here. 
Gotta speed this up. All right, we're gonna go for this. New us spawning. Oh, that's fine. No, no, no. Oh, okay. These are pumping. I'm going crazy. I've never had this much map control so easily. And maybe not never, but in a non-surrendered game. In in today's smite, you should just be surrendering these matches. In previous smite, sure, you're not surrendering. All right, there's a surrender. You're you can come back. Maybe not 23 to one, but you know 10-0, you might be able to come back. In this smite, you're never coming back. With the changes off the reverts and everything else, you're never coming back. This bronze master series might be pretty quick. Uh, for being real, I want to show you guys the full build real quick. Ten was I ten oh five? I don't know what I was last in the first game. Maybe I can do a series where I don't die if I really try to. Yeah, twelve k damage. This is on at six. He tried. He did his best. So that full build on Sir Cat. If that's starter, uh, either one. If you need pen, you're going Bumba Spear. If not, you're going Bumba's Hammer all day. Like just, just absolutely for sure. So fail not. Going into the upgraded Deathbringer. That game, I was going to go Hydras. I was going to go Serrated. So you don't really need the pen from this. Like, you really... Hammer is really good. It's going to allow you to get double combos off. And then the last item... I'm thinking Bloodforge. You've got max cooldown. You're going Yellow Shaman Totem, which is going to give you pretty much cap percent pen. Also give you some flat pen. You're getting the Bloodforge reset. This build is optimal. If you're getting CC'd a lot, change this to a Magi's Blessing. So your your optional item in this build is definitely the Magi's Blessing. Because this is also going to give you more damage. So going Magi's Revenge is pretty sick. Here's your full build. I'm really enjoying this patch. Obviously, you know, Smite is what it is right now. But it's cool to bring back these old items that are OP. I'm going to try out the old Mercury build as well because Merc is fun and there's just some Nem is back like Nem has old build back there's so much to do hopefully you like the video hit the like button if you do hit the subscribe button I'll see you in the video later tomorrow the next day the next day and the next day